Hey everybody, Aaron here, and welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at episode 3 of Nanbaka. So, I'm probably going to go with this really fast because I do have to go ahead to college right after immediately doing this review and uploading it. So, I do apologize, but I will talk as fast as I can and kind of give you guys the rundown of this episode. So, essentially we start off with a kind of simple story with uh, Saito. Or, uh, is Saito, I'm sorry, it's Saito. Uh, Saito over here, the guy with the blue hair, is going to Hajime because he's not being treated by the inmates of 13 very nicely. If you can see the image right here, they are treating him horribly. And so essentially, um, Hajime's response to that is like, oh, well, you just have to find what they like to do. Of course, so, you know, Rock loves food, uh, loves to fight, but he loves food. So give him a uh, menu for food items. And then you have Uno who likes the girls. So give him like surveys for magazines from, for about girls and all that and stuff like that. And what's funny is that, you know, he even mentions like, what is this, like a daycare? Like, what am I actually trying to do? But the most part is that that works. You know, that's what keeps them kind of busy and keeps them from doing anything stupid. Now, we go switch to the warden here who talks about the, um, and I, by the way, I'm not using the image where she talks about them. I'm using the image that, you know, she's, she wants Hajime to say her name, but, you know, she, 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 he won't do that, of course, because he respects her. She's the warden. She's the boss there. But um, she talks about a, how a new inmate is going to be shipped into um, cell 13 with the rest of the gang. And this is our introduction to uh, Sukumo, Sukumo, I think his name is, who apparently is a shinobi. That's what he thinks he is for this whole episode. He's not a shinobi. He is an actor who plays Shinobi. Quite understandable when you actually see what he does in the course of the episode where he fails horribly to try to escape, quote-unquote, uh, with them. They, like, he has escape contest with Yugo, and, you know, Yugo does, like, 90% of the work, and then he tries at one point to do cattle throps to kind of stop Hajime from following him, but he ends up throwing cattle throps all around him, encircling him, and rather than, you know, making it so he can escape, now he's stuck in the middle of this like an idiot. So, yeah. He's short-lived in uh, Cell 13, he goes to Cell 11 in the next day, so the next arc shows up with that. Um, so then the episode switches gears. Probably the best part of this episode is when um, the warden is getting her office cleaned by um, Hajime and that monkey guy. And this is the best sequence because you see how much she like just is staring at Hajime. Like Hajime rolls up his sleeves and she's looking at his muscles and looking at him in general and just going, oh my god, this, this is the greatest thing ever. And, you know, at one point he like his sweat drops and she goes and catches it and imagines her like now bathing in in water like that was weird but god the warden's awesome like she makes this show so much better her weirdness towards hajime is great honestly uh the episode ends though with um them talking about the new year they spent not a whole year mind you in this place but they've spent a, a decent portion of the year and now it's turning into new year and they're all together in this place so they're talking about how they've had a good time and i'm like I don't think you're supposed to enjoy prison this much. Like, I think prison's supposed to be a bad place, and these guys seem to enjoy it more than anything else. But overall, you know, this is a weaker episode of Nanbaka. I'm still having, you know, mixed feelings with Nanbaka. I don't hate it. I don't dislike it. I think it's a solid, like, I want to say middle grade right now. Like, I want to give it a C plus right now as it is. Maybe B minus. Um, the humor is kind of flat in this episode. And this kind of shows me what Nanbaka's biggest issue will be going forward is that kind of flat humor here and there. But overall, it was still an enjoyable episode. Like I said, the warden really, she really saves this whole episode. Like, honestly, she's awesome. I think she's funny. I think she she acts really cute, which is awesome. So that's definitely a plus side to that. Anyways, guys and girls, I do have to run, though. I will talk to you later. As always, if you like this review, please hit that subscribe button. Share the videos. Like the video. You know the whole nine. I will talk to you all later. Have a blessed, blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.